Hello, greetings, and welcome everyone to this news video. I am the Ninjaneer, and today the topics we will cover are as follows. We may use less fossil fuels than the year before for the first time in history. Local Fox News stations really love Aptera. What will the September update contain? The Tesla We Robot event, and things that I liked. Let's get started. So the graph that I have up here is a breakdown of the energy sources being used in the U.S. by amount of energy generated. So essentially, the higher they are on the graph, the larger um, measure in BTU that you get from that energy source to power the world. As you can see, for the past few years, that's actually been going down, but the amount of fuel, uh, oil, and, and petroleum products has actually been going up because our energy demand has been going up so much. Um, now you'll see here uh, that this uh, oil consumption graph uh, has a couple of places where it has dipped below uh, the year before. Now I'm not trying to say that uh, this was uh, something that didn't happen. What I'm trying to say is that this particular dip happened during the 2009 crisis, this dip happened during the pandemic, and so there has never been a year where oil consumption has gone down, uh, sorry, 2008 and 9 was the financial crisis, there's no year where the oil consumption has gone down compared to the previous year unless there was a crazy uh, something going on in the world. So, there was an article that I read that I cannot find now for some reason that basically stated that there, there has come a tipping point, if you will, that essentially means that the amount of oil that we're using is tapering off to the point where by the end of this year, we may use less oil than what we used the year before, and there is no crazy pandemic or anything like that. What is happening is China and other countries are transitioning so well to EVs and so rapidly to EVs over the course of this past year that we might actually see a decrease in oil usage uh, compared to the previous year with no crazy something happening. So I am really excited to see where this news goes, where this possibility goes. Um, I may just let you guys know what I find next year as this story develops. But yeah, it looks like there's a really good chance that this will be the first year in history we use less oil than the year before while there wasn't some kind of crazy financial crisis or uh, lack of demand thing happening. So pretty cool in my opinion. A channel that I talk about fairly frequently is Free Power. Uh, they had a, they had what is essentially a breakdown of a news report from a Fox channel in Texas. And I'm noticing now that a lot of the news stories that are coming out about Aptera are more covered or better covered or more frequently covered by Fox News and Fox News outlets in local areas, uh, local cities, local, you know, local channels. And part of me kind of wondered why that was and uh, the, <laughs> the tinfoil hat conspiracy mind in me was basically saying something to the effect of, oh, it's the doomsday preppers. That's why Fox cares about it because they, they care about it. Um, I don't. I don't have any information that says that is true. Please do not take that at face value. But um, yeah, essentially my thought process on the matter was that uh, Fox News is covering this a lot because it is something that can appeal to their, their viewers. So yeah, that's how I think about it. Um, I don't believe that people that watch Fox News are all by necessity doomsday preppers. Please do not take that away from this particular clip. But um, yeah, that's it's pretty cool that they are getting a lot of media coverage. It's just a little bit surprising to me that the coverage is coming from Fox News specifically when they've done so much in the past to 
talk negatively about EVs and the like. So, yeah, not trying to jinx it, just observing. All right, so Tesla has sent out invites to what they call the We Robot event, where I'm assuming they will introduce their robo taxi and all that kind of stuff. Um, this event has been long uh, talked about and rumored, and then talked about some more, and then rumored some more, and then officially announced, and then you know here we are coming up on it so it's uh it's going to be interesting in my opinion to see what they actually show do they actually have something that they can show uh leadership in or are they just kind of copying the features and tactics of other companies uh we will find that out soon my inclination though is to think that they are probably going to uh blow somebody's mind like blow our minds with something that they're going to show yeah i don't know uh, I haven't been following Tesla close enough recently to know what they're going to be presenting besides the uh, Tesla bot and potentially the uh, rumored Model 2, which is not the name of it according to Elon or anybody else that talks about it. Um, but yeah, one of those two things, if not both, will be talked about at this Wii Robot situation. Uh, the video that I learned about this news from was a Talos of EV video. He talked about this and I looked around on the interwebs and I found out, oh, people are receiving uh, different invites for this kind of thing. So one thing that I did note that people were saying on the internets, uh, the Twitters and the uh, Instagrams and stuff like that specifically, is that they are a little bit miffed, uh, bothered that they have no option to bring a plus one this go round. Um, apparently that's something that's usually uh, the case where you can bring more than one person with you to an event like the Cybertruck reveal and the, the Cybertruck delivery event, that kind of thing. So now you can't bring a plus one apparently. That is interesting, uh, unique. I wonder why they did that. Maybe the venue is not big enough. Uh, maybe they know that there's going to be a ton of people out there and they don't want to overcrowd it. But long story short, uh, this event is coming up. I'm going to be watching it. I don't think I'm going to stream it only because I try to only stream Aptera events right this moment. But if there's enough uh, interesting stuff that happens, I might talk about it again. All right, now for things that I liked. The first thing that I liked was a video by a gentleman by the name of Cold Fusion. Well, a channel by the name of Cold Fusion. This channel has uh, done a lot of really interesting think pieces and uh, things about stuff that I care about. So uh, I would su suggest you guys check out the channel to see what else they offer, but this particular video was about how cars are spying on us and how the uh, the spying is starting to negatively impact people's ability to get insurance and to be insured for a reasonable price. So yeah, that video is really cool, really interesting, and it actually brought up quite a few questions in my head about what Aptera is doing about their security and their consumers' privacy and things of that nature, so I actually did send an email. Uh, to Aptera, to Audra, to see if she had any input on that situation, and I'll let you guys know what she says about that. But at the moment, we don't have a statement from Aptera, even though I have sought one. It was only uh, two days ago that I actually sought said information, so I don't expect them to get back to me anytime in the near future. I just want you guys to know that I believe that this is something that is worth uh, Apterans knowing about, so I did ask the question, and I hope to get a response soon. The next thing that I liked this week was a video by a gentleman by the name of Jeremy Fielding. Jeremy Fielding does a lot of really interesting engineering-related things because he is, in fact, an engineer. Uh, this particular video was about how regenerative braking works, and he actually demonstrated this in the video, which I thought was really amazing. I appreciate the fact that people have charts and graphs and things like that, but the next step up from that, in my opinion, is an actual working model. So he built a working model of a uh, motor, um, and he used that motor and uh, different pieces of a, honestly, a, a regeneration system uh, that he adapted to um, show how it works. So he did a very good job of doing that. I appreciated the video very much. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and check it out. Alright, the last thing that I liked this week was a video by Drive the Lightning, 
obviously, uh, where they talked about the event that happened in San Francisco, and they interviewed a gentleman by the name of Bob Vogel, who was actually there. He gave a lot of really interesting insights about how the Aptera fits his life specifically. I'm not going to spoil the video, but it gives a lot of insight to those who may be curious about um, accessibility and things like that with respect to the Aptera. So check that video out if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am the Ninjaneer. If you'd like to like and or subscribe, do all the YouTube -y things, go ahead and do those YouTube -y things with the links uh, all over the place, up, down, left, right. Um, yeah, I think mostly down in the bottom corner. Uh, I'm not going to point to a corner because I'm not sure which one. Point both corners. There we go. Down the bottom corner uh, somewhere. So go ahead and check those links out. Uh, do the clicks, do the awesomeness, do the comments. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and catch you next time.